What's up everybody, it's your boy Mayer. Uh For breakfast I had a cheese bagel. For lunch I had some beans and turkey, and that was tasty. And for dinner we're going to be having beef stew. Uh, the Apple event happened today, which is really cool. Um, they announced new, um, new iPhones, the iPhone 16 series. They announced new AirPods, they announced AirPods 4, um, and they also announced AirPods 4 with ANC. Um, which is like 50 bucks more. Um, it's really interesting because typically, are my AirPods gross? Um, no. Typically, ANC, you need, you need this uh, little tip here. You need this tip to do ANC. Um, and it's very weird to try and do uh, ANC on AirPods, like normal AirPods, which don't have this silicone tip on them. Uh, so I wonder how that's gonna work out, but they are pretty cheap. Um, let me just look up AirPods. Uh, I think if AirPods were their own company, they would be the 17th largest company in the world or something. AirPods are the most successful headphones of all time. Um, yeah, AirPods 4. Let me bring this up. Um, uh, AirPods 4 is $129 with ANC, it's $179, which is pretty nice. Um, they also announced the new iPhones, they announced the 16 and the 16 Plus, and the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max. Um, with the 16, they, uh, well, on the 15 Pro, they replaced the mute switch. I have a 14 Pro Max. Um, on the 14s, oh, uh, you can't really, see. there we go. There's a switch on it, and it's a mute switch. Um, and you switch it between on and off like silent mode and it's sort of been an iPhone staple But on the 15 pros they got rid of it and they replaced it with a button They called it the action button, uh, which is a feature that they had on their Apple watches But not a feature that they had on their iPhones So they replaced, so they replaced that mute switch with an action button and the cool thing about the action button is that you can make it do anything not only like the predefined the predefined options that Apple says but you can also uh, make it execute a shortcut, which is basically these, um, when you make a shortcut, it's basically this sort of block coding sort of, uh, like, scripting system, uh, which is this super powerful way to, like, um, have things automatically run in the background on your iPhone and stuff. So you can hook in your action button to a shortcut, and you can make it just do anything. Um, but on the iPhone 16, they uh, introduced the action button onto just the non-pros. So it used to be the 15 Pro had the action button and the 15 just had the switch, but now both the 16 Pro and the 16 have the button. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, if I open up the page for the iPhone 16, you'll see here that they have this weird thing. Um, and, this, and this weird thing is actually a capture button. Um, it's basically like, like, I don't know, it's this button where if you pr if you press it, um, it automatically opens the camera and takes a photo. Um, but if you hold it down, um, it starts recording a video. It also can do a lot of really interesting things in the camera app. So for example, if you have the camera open, uh, you can swipe your finger along it uh, to make sure, to like have it zoom in and out. Um, and another thing you can do is you can like, I don't know, either, I think you can maybe double tap it. Um, and it'll bring up, it'll make the bezel like expand a little bit around it, it'll make it a little thicker, and you'll be able to select different like camera options. Um, and it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, I'm not gonna use it, and something really weird about it is I don't think it's a button, I think it's just like a different part, it's a different looking part of the aluminum frame. And what that means is that, um, if you remember the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 didn't actually, sorry, there's this flying insect around my room. Oh, it's a fly, God. <sighs> That's terrible. Um, so if you think of the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 didn't actually have a home button. It just had a sort of indented piece of glass. Uh, and when you pressed on it, it would vibrate the phone. And because the phone's uh, vibration motor was so good it felt like you were pressing a button. Uh, now every phone has vibration motors that are very good and very tactile and tight, um, but this is very similar. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not a physical button, don't quote me on that, 
Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not a physical button. Uh, and so it makes me wonder how this is gonna work with case manufacturers. Um, on Apple cases, they announced that during WWDC, they're gonna be having like an Apple case with like a sapphire like section, a section here that'll like, tri like that'll move the capacitive area to the outside of the case so you can use the phone shutter button without touching it. But I could imagine uh, a lot of like cheaper cases are going to have just a cutout here. It's just gonna have an open area and uh, that's just how the case is gonna look. Uh, I lost it. Oh well, um, the fly. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, but I don't know, it's just more of an excuse for phone, like, like premium case manufacturers like OtterBox to just charge more for their cases. I have an OtterBox Defender Pro XT on my iPhone and it's $70. Luckily, I was able to get it half off for Prime Day when I got a new one, but um, it's terrible. And I bet a lot of it is because uh, this case is the only super protective case for iPhones uh, that include MagSafe. And I've never really used MagSafe, but I don't want to have a case that removes a feature from my phone. You know what I mean? So um, it's just more case-specific features for iPhones that are going to make them more expensive, um, which sucks, but what can you do? Um, the cameras also look different. Let's see if you can get... Uh, the, the, the colors are new. Um, the, there's this like bright new pink color. If you look at the iPhone 15 colors, it was a very, very light sort of pastel... Um, sort of colors, like, will it even show you? 15, yeah. Yeah, look, look at how, like, sort of light these colors are. There is a pink iPhone here, but um, if you look at the 16s, uh, there's like a particularly very pink, sort of bright uh, pink color. Um, and also the other colors look okay. Um, but yeah, the cameras look different um, on the, I believe the 13 and the 14 and I think even the 15, um, hmm, no, wait. Yeah, okay, so the 13, 14, and the 15 had this sort of diagonal camera thing, um, which uh, is different from the iPhone 11 and 12, which have this uh, sort of horizontal camera. Uh, but they've reverted to the horizontal cameras, but the flash is not on the camera bump. It's flush with the rest of the phone. So um, instead of having like sort of a square type thing, they have more of a pill with a flash next to it. I also wonder how cases are going to look with this. I wonder if they're going to have like sort of a triangle cutout that'll include the flash or, or what. I don't really know what's going to happen there. Um, but... Yeah, uh, they have a dynamic island. They still don't have 120 hertz, which is insane for an $800 phone in 2024. Um, this fly is really bothering me. I don't even know how it got into my room. Um, and, oh yeah, there's the little bump I was talking about in the bezel. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, they're doing a... Uh, so on the pros, if you got really close to something with your 0.5 camera, you can do macro photography. Like the 0.5 camera had autofocus, um, and that let you just get really close to things. And now you can do that on the 16. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, and they upgraded how like photographic styles work. It's like filters, but it integrates into the uh, system. Like it integrates into the... Uh, the photo processing. Oh my god. Um, yeah, the battery is really nice. Yeah. Uh, for the 16 Pros, uh, they have. God, what do they have on this? It's a very tiny, like. There's not that much that's very cool about the 16 Pros to the point where I'm kind of forgetting. It has a cool kind of orange titanium color. Um, the titanium finish is quite a bit shinier than the 15s. Um, what? There's a new chip. 
it has Wi-Fi 7. What's new about the new iPhone? Oh, uh, the ultra wide camera is has a, it has a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, which is really nice. Um, I love taking 8K 48 megapixel photos on my iPhone, um, but it sucks because um, only the times one camera, like the normal, just normal wide camera, has um, is 48 megapixels. So it disincentivizes me from using the macro uh, lens or like the zoom lens or the um, ultra wide lens because they're both 12 megapixels and I would much rather take a one times uh, 8K photo um, and just step back, you know, than uh, take an ultra wide photo that's at 12 megapixels. Um, what else? Yeah, there's the sort of new orange color. Uh, yeah, the screens are larger um, because they decrease the size of the bezels. <laughs> cool. Uh, it also it has the same camera thing as the 16. Oh yeah, you can record in 4K 120 FPS and like switch out, like switch between the four versions. Like the four, uh, you can record at 120 frames a second, but then play back at 60 or 30 or 24, like in the editing. Um, who's using, they keep advertising this audio mix thing. I don't know who's using this. I'm sure it's a very cool feature. Uh, when would you ever use this? Um, Yeah, I mean, there's Death Stranding. New battery life is nice. Uh, bad light assistance. Yeah, I mean, uh, I really liked the 15 series because it put the dynamic island on the um, non-pro models. Um, it introduced it introduced USB-C. Um, it was made out of titanium, and that was cool, as opposed to the stainless steel, which they had before. Uh, and I really liked the 14 Pros because they introduced a 48 megapixel main sensor. Um, I really liked the 13 Pros because they had an 120 hertz display. I liked the 12 Pros because they had 5G and MagSafe. I don't know. The 12 was a little silly. Um, the 11 Pros were just are just historically one of the best iPhones, right? Um, and so it's just it's 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 kind of strange day of announcement, knowing you're in an off year for iPhones, like just knowing that you're kind of in like a weird like uh, you're in a weird sort of iPhone 12 sort of iPhone 7 sort of era, or more of an iPhone 8 type of era. Um, and it's just, uh, it sucks, right? I mean, it, it's a good phone. It's cooler than the 15. It's better than the 15, or the 15 Pro. Um, but this is really just one of those models uh, that just makes the last iPhone cheaper. Um, nothing super groundbreaking, except for the 48 megapixel ultra wide camera. But you know, uh, it's cool. It's a, it's a nice phone, it's cool. Um, they also announced new Apple Watches. Uh, I can actually bring up the Apple Watches really quick. Um, yeah, so they announced the um, Apple Watch Series 10, which is a lot thinner and also a different shape. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's also... Yeah, yeah, they, during the uh, announcement, they kept talking about how if you viewed your Apple Watch from an angle, it's like brighter. Like right now, when I look at my watch, it sort of dims, like, you know, I didn't really even notice this until they mentioned it, uh, but it does dim quite considerably when you look at it from like off axis. Um, and so I presume this fixes that. Um, yeah, it's a lot thinner. 
yeah, so here's it compared to the Series 9. I have a Series 7, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a lot thinner, which is nice. Um, it's very funny that they compare it to the Series 3, uh, because the Series 7 um, has an almost identical display. Um, the Series 3, as you can imagine by its name, is very old, and I think it's the oldest supported Apple Watch. Um, and so, yeah, they say it's 30% more screen than this 4, 5, and 6, uh, but they don't mention the 7, the 8, or the 9 because it, <laughs> it has basically the exact same screen size. Um, and yeah, they have a new black color. Historically, uh, Apple Watches just aren't, they don't come in black. Like mine looks black, but if you shine a light on it, it's actually very dark blue. Um, and the only way to get black Apple Watches uh, historically, I'm sure have been, there have been some models where you can get a black Apple Watch, but the only way to get black Apple Watches in the past was to get the stainless steel Apple Watch, which is a lot more expensive. Um, but yeah, uh, oh yeah, those are the titanium finishes. Yeah, so they replaced the stainless steel premium finishes with titanium premium finishes, which is nice. Um, oh yeah, they announced how it's going to be able to track sleep apnea, which is cool. Um, that's pretty much it. They announced new AirPods. Let me show you guys this tiny case. The AirPods are actually really interesting to me. Um, look at how small, look, yeah, look at how tiny that case is. So wild. Um, that's actually really cool. I, I like how small the case is. Um, and it, they also support ANC if you want it. Um, for the Apple Watch Ultra, they have a new black color. Um, in the past, it was just like a sort of natural sort of, I can show you. In the past, it used to just be this color, but now they also offer a black. It makes me wonder how it's going to scratch and stuff, but we'll see. Um, and they also offered this new Milanese loop um, made out of titanium, which is quite nice. Let's see. God, yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh, an extra hundred dollars. That's crazy. It's a nice looking band though. It's also made out of titanium, but with this very premium looking uh, not very rugged at all sort of um, band, it's obvious who the real target audience is for the Apple Watch Ultra. Like when they first announced it, it had like the, the Alpine loop, um, which are you not going to show it? Okay, they had like the Alpine loop or like the trail loop, um, and there were all these very sort of rugged, like like the whole thing was that each of them was for a different extreme sport. Um, but now they're seeing that the people who get Apple Watch Ultras, a lot of them are just like rich guys. Um, and they're not super interested in having a super rugged uh, watch band because they're not doing super rugged things. Uh, they just want to have an expensive watch that's made by Apple, right? And so th this fits that. Um, they're also announcing some new hearing aid features for the um, AirPods Pro 2, which is cool. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's cool. I, I, I like, you know, I, I like Apple events. There's a reason why I watch them. They're well made and, you know, the products are cool. I like Apple products, right? Um, but, you know, you could just tell, I don't know, I feel like they're kind of in an off year, like the 12. Um, but, you know, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye. Oh, the 12 was the first iPhone to have the flat edges. That was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah. Bye.